Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have discussed about the criterion for flexible payment analysis. In FATIC cracking criterion, a term called resilient modulus was being used. So we are going to see about resilient modulus. Here you can see a graph that is used to determine resilient modulus of granular layers, that is the base and the subbase. Where the curves represent the strains with respect to time that are caused due to repeated cycles of load with respect to the distribution of stresses from the surface to the granular layers. There are basically two types of strains, namely irrecoverable and recoverable strain. During compaction of the granular layers, it will undergo considerable amount of strain and become stabilized. After which, the, when the traffic load is up being applied, the irrecoverable strain gets nullified and there will be only recoverable strain. So the ratio of repeated axial stress that is being applied with respect to which the recoverable strain is measured is called resilient modulus. For each of the payment layers, the resilient modulus varies as the value of the modulus will substantially increase from the bottom, which is the sub subgrade, to the bituminous layer, which is the surface at which the traffic load is applied. The top 500 mm of the prepared foundation immediately below the pavement is designated as subgrade. The compaction at the subgrade must be 97% of the maximum dry density that is obtained at the laboratory. The resilient modulus can be calculated by the equation that is provided in IRC 37 2018 provided for CBR that is the California bearing ratio lesser than or equal to 5% and greater than 5% separately which has been mentioned in the slide. Sometimes there shall be different CBR for the subgrade and the embankment which is below the subgrade. At that time, uh, effective modulus must be calculated by using the equation mentioned in the screen, in which the del is the maximum deflection that is calculated through analysis in IAT PAVE with the following data. Single wheel load of 40 kN, contact pressure of 0.56 MPa, for the linear elastic layered system with which the radius of the circular contact area can be determined as 150.8 mm since the area is equal to ratio of wheel load to the pressure and the elastic or resilient moduli of the subgrade and the embankment layer calculated from the resilient modulus equation that is used for the calculation of modulus of subgrade is considered. A part of use of IAT PAVE will be made in the next video. Next is the resilient modulus of the granular layers. Granular base and subbase are generally considered as a single layer for the purpose of analysis. So the combined resilient modulus can be determined using the equation that is provided, where h is the total thickness of the granular base and subbase in this case, and MR support is the effective resilient modulus of the subgrade. But if CTB is used, that is the cement treated base, both base and subbase must be considered separately and the modulus of granular subbase can be found using the same equation provided in the screen. The modulus of CTB and CTSB that is the cement treated subbase shall be calculated by the equation with respect to the confined compressive strength that is the UCC of the uh, cementitious granular material. In general, the value of elastic modulus for CTSB and CTB are taken as 600 MPa and 5000 MPa respectively, where MPa means the unit megapascal. Mega Crack lily layer is a layer that is provided between uh, the bituminous surface and the CTB layer to slow down or to delay the reflection of cracks from the CTB layer to the bituminous layer. It can be laid in the provided two forms where the stress absorbing membrane interlayer, that is the SAMI layer, is not considered in the payment composition of the uh, payment analysis. Lastly, for bituminous layer, the table given is used for the selection of mix type, that is whether a stone matrix asphalt or gap graded rubberized bitumen or bituminous concrete to be used for dense bituminous mix or bituminous mixes as per IRC 37 2018. As per IRC 37, these are the indicative values of resilient modulus provided for bituminous mixes with respect to the type of mix, grade of bitumen, and pavement temperature. 
for the analysis and design the resilient modulus measured at 35 degrees celsius temperature as per astm 4123 can be adopted generally if vg40 grade bitumen is used the resilient modulus can be taken as 3000 mpa thus various uh, resilient modulus for different layers of payment shall be determined thank you